Hello children, how are you? This is your teacher of English, Vinkat Sudha from Bhapetla district. Well, children, you have got questions, you have got answers. Is Mars habitable? Do aliens exist? Are these water or life on other worlds? How would be they are? Let's discuss and know them here in our lesson on alien hand. Before entering into the lesson, let's see the overview of the lesson. Are you ready children? Hello children, how are you? Welcome back to our English class. This is your teacher of English, Venkat Sudha. Well, children, we have got questions and we have got answers. Is mass habitable? Do aliens exist? Is there water or life on other worlds? Have it be there? Let's discuss about the in our lesson on alien hand. Before entering into the lesson, let's see the overview of the lesson on alien hand. Overview of an alien hand. In this lesson, we have three parts. First part is before you read, and second part is reading comprehension, and the final part is comprehension check and questions and answers. Before intro, let's see the learning objectives of an alien hand. Learning Objectives By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the concept of living under artificial conditions and mass, express the emotions felt by Tillu when he gets a chance to go through the forbidden passes, describe the responsibility of Tillu's father group in looking after the machines that produce all energy, state the reasons for the extension of birds, animals, and fish on the surface of mass, recognize the importance of superior technology in the survival of human beings on mass. Summarize the events that take place in the control room when the spacecraft approach Mars. Explain the role of the panel with the colored buttons in the control room. Express the emotions felt by Chilu when he presses the red button on the panel. Describe the consequences of pressing the red button on the mechanical hand of the spacecraft. State the purpose of the Viking mission and the disappointment of the scientists behind it. Children, now are you ready to before reading activity? Before you read. Have you heard of the Viking mission to Mars? The National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA Viking mission to Mars was composed of two spacecraft Viking 1 and Viking 2 each consisting of an orbiter and a lander. The primary objectives were to obtain images and samples of the Martian surface and soil and search for any possible signs of life. Viking 1 was launched on 20 August 1975 and arrived at Mars on 19 June 1976. Viking 2 was launched on 9 September 1975 and entered Mars orbit on 7 August 1976. Besides taking photographs and collecting other science data on the Martin surface, the two landers conducted three biological experiments to look for possible signs of life. As of now, there is no clear evidence of the presence of living microorganisms in the soil near the landing sites. Now, children, we are entered into the comprehension 1 of the lesson. Are you ready, children? Comprehension 1 of an alien hand. Chillu and his parents live beneath the surface of a planet under artificial conditions. Chillu, how often have you been told not to go that way? But... Why does daddy go there every day? Because that his job till you. That way was an underground passage. Tillu's father went every day for work along that passage and every day he came back from that direction. What lay at the end of the forbidden route? Not only Tillu, but a great majority of the community would have liked to know. Tillu's father was one of the select few permitted to go that way. The above conversation invariably took place between Tillu and his mother whenever he insisted on following his father. Today, however, was different. Tillu's father was enjoying his sister at home and Tillu managed to get hold of his security card. Then, awaiting his watchful mother's eye, Tillu made his way to the forbidden passes. Children, do you know what is meant by sister? You don't know? Okay, now I will tell. Sister means short rest or nap 
after lunch. Do you understand? Okay. A metal door barred his entry. But Tilo had watched his father slip the magic card into a slot. He did the same. And the door opened noiselessly. A well-lit passage seemed to beckon him. Snatching the card, which had come out of another slot in the wall, Tilo started his march along a gentle upward slope. For the passage led from the underground habitat to the surface of the planet. Children, do you know what is meant by habitat? Habitat means shelter or home. Tilo looked forward to seeing the sun, if it was daytime, or the stars, if it was night. About which he had heard and read so much, but alas, that wasn't to be. Tillo had underestimated the security arrangements. Invisible mechanical devices had already detected and photographed the smaller intruder. Sent his picture to the central bureau where it was truly checked, and before he had advanced ten paces, a strong hand fell heavily on his shoulder. Children, do you know what is meant by detected? Detected means found out. Gently but firmly, he was escorted by the security staff back home to an anxious and angry mother. While he was being scolded, he received help from an unexpected quarter. Children, do you know what is meant by escorted? Escorted means taken or led. Let me explain to him, darling, said his father who had just got up. If he is properly briefed, he will not do such a thing again. He started to explain. Listen, Tilu, I work on a surface where an ordinary person cannot survive because the air is too thin to breath and where if the temperature is so low that you would freeze to death. But, Daddy, how do you manage to survive? Because I go well equipped in a special suit with a reservoir of oxygen. I can keep warm and my boots are specially designed to make it easy for me to walk on the surface. What's more, I have been trying to survive and walk on the surface. There was a time when our forefathers lived on the surface quite naturally. Indeed, they did so for million years ago, but times changed. The very sun, which had provided us with sustenance, turned hostile. It changed only slightly, but the change was sufficient to upset the balance of nature on this planet. First, the birds became extinct. The animals followed. The fish could not bear it anymore either. We managed to survive only because of our superior technology. But we were forced to live underground under artificial conditions. Thanks to solar energy, we can generate sufficient power to make our life comfortable. But the machines which make this possible must always be in good working condition. Some of them are on the surface. I belong to the team whose responsibility it is to keep watch on them and to service them. Daddy, can I join the team when I grow up? Of course, if you want to, said his father. But for that, you must be a good boy and do as your parents tell you. His mother had as usual the last word. Children, now let's check how much we understand the comprehension one through some following questions. Are you ready children? Comprehension check one. Question number one. How does Tilo manage to find his way to the forbidden passes? Option A. Tilo managed to get hold of his father's security card and made his way to the forbidden passes. Option B. His mother encouraged him to go there. Option C. 
along with his friends he went there which one is the correct answer s you are right answer is option a congratulations what did tillu hope to see once he emerged from his underground home option a tillu hoped to see the sun or the stars about which he had heard and read so much option b tillu hoped to see film stars option c tillu hoped to see scientist which one is the correct answer as you are absolutely right answer is option a question number 3 why did tillus for the advise him not to try to reach the surface of the planet option a he can't sleep well there option b there an ordinary man cannot survive because the air is too thin and the temperature is so low option c he can't look at the sun there which one is the correct answer can you guess s you are right answer is option b question number 4 what changes have occurred which forced people to live in underground homes option a the sun changed slightly option b the solar system changed option c the sun turned hostile and people were forced to live underground under artificial conditions which one is the correct answer as you are right answer is option c children you did well now we are going to learn comprehension 2 of an alien hand are you ready okay comprehension 2 the big tv screen in the control room shows an alien next day when tillus father went to work he found the control room full of excitement people were crowded around the big tv screen it showed a dot in an otherwise clear background it's a star for its changing its position our computer has given a trajectory for this thing it's heading towards us the supervisor of the last ship explained spacecraft tillus father asked by now he was joined by his teammates on the new shift so we think but it needs watching a spacecraft where from the solar system was unknown to have any life anywhere else except on the planet tillus father recalled the ancient days recorded in the archives at the central bureau when the ancient sisters had a well developed space program and had searched the solar system with manned and unmanned spacecraft and found that they were indeed alone now in the days of energy shortages and underground life they had no space program they could only watch impotently from their vantage point who are these strangers The conference room in the central bureau was so quiet that an outsider would have thought it was empty. Far from it. It was full to capacity, but the members of the central committee were unusually quiet. They knew that the president was going to make a momentous announcement. Colleagues, I will give you the report as I have it. Why? Number one, speak there may be a change in the situation. The president passed to get his papers in order and then continued. Two spacecrafts are approaching us. One is in fact orbiting our planet while the other is still far away. We guess that they are coming from our neighboring planet. How should we react? Number one, your views, please. Number two, 
Number one was in charge of defense. He was known for his courage and wisdom. Sir, if we wish, we can totally destroy the spacecraft with our missiles. But that won't make us any wiser. We do not have the capacity to render this craft unoperational in space. But should the land, we can render them ineffective anytime we choose. Our reports say that they do not contain living beings. They only have instruments. Number two, your opinion please. The president asked the scientist on the committee. I recommended non-interference and passive observation since we do not know the power of the senders of the spacecraft and we are still in dark about their intentions. It is wise not to reveal our existence. If we destroy the spaceships or render them ineffective, we might reveal our existence. The president looked at number three, a social scientist. He rarely agreed with number two. But this was one of those rare occasions when he did. I agree with number two, sir. In fact, I will go so far as to say that we should keep our surface activities to the minimum. Thus, creating the impression that there is no life on this planet. Fortunately, our surface conditions do give that impression. Before the president could speak, his personal telephone rang. He lifted the receiver and listened quietly for a minute. Colleagues, he announced, the first spacecraft has landed. Children, now let's check how much we understand the reading comprehension to through some questions. Comprehension check 2. Question number 1. Why was everyone in the control room greatly excited? Option A. They saw an alien. Option B. The big TV screen in the control room shows an alien space control TV. Option C. They saw another planet. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, you are right. Answer is option C. Question number 2. Was the spacecraft manned or unmanned? How do you know it? Option A. Unmanned because it's the days of energy shortage and underground life. They had no space program. Option B. They may not be unmanned. Option C. They were alone. Which one is the correct answer? Can you guess? Yes, you are absolutely correct. Answer is... Option A. Question number 3. What did number 1 and number 2 suggest should be done about the alien spacecraft? Option A. Should totally destroy the spacecraft with our missiles. Option B. They recommended non-interference and passive observation. Option C. Render them ineffective. Which one is the correct answer? Can you say? Yes, you are awesome. The correct answer is option B. Children, you did very well. You understand the parallelism very well. Now, let's see the comprehension 3 of an alien hand. Are you ready, children? Comprehension 3 of an alien hand. Chilo accompanies his father to the control room. It was red later day in Chilo's life. The day he was waiting for. For his father had at last taken him to control room. From here, he could see the alien spacecraft on his TV screen. What a funny looking thing, daddy. What does it contain? Tillu asked. His father shook his head. Can't say for sure. We are only allowed to observe it from far. But we control all its parts and can exercise our power if it is up to any mischief. He pointed to an impressive panel with several colored buttons on it. Tilly looked at them wistfully. Look at up something, Daddy. Tilly suddenly noticed some movement in the spacecraft. Others in the control room saw it too. All eyes were now glued to the screen. A mechanical hand was emerging from the spacecraft. 
it was approaching the surface of the planet it bent and touched the soil what was it up to people crowded towards the screen for a closer look the telescope lens of the tv camera zoomed into the tip of the mechanical hand Chilu was staring at the control panel and its attractive buttons. An irresistible desire got hold of him to press the most prominent of all buttons, the red one. He moved. There was a shrill whistle and Chilu found himself the center of attention. His father pulled him away roughly and restored the red button to neutral position. But the damage was done. The mechanical hand from the spacecraft ceased to work. At a press conference held by NASA, a scientist was briefing the world press. Everything has been going on smoothly with the Viking mission. There is a small hitch. The mechanical hand which, which was to dig out the Martin soil for examination has developed a malfunction. We don't know the cause, but our technicians are confident they will sort it out. And shortly afterwards, there was another press release from NASA. The mechanical hand is working again. Thanks to the efforts of our technicians, soil samples are being collected and examined. Soon we will know the answer to the question whether there is life on Mars. Life on Mars? Of all the planets in our solar system, Mars is nearest in location and physical condition to our Earth. So the scientists behind the Viking mission were hopeful of finding life on Mars. But they were in for disappointment. The Viking mission found no signs of life on Mars. Children, now let's check our understanding of comprehension 3 through following some questions. Comprehension check 3. Question number 1. What do you think the mechanical hand was trying to do? Option A. It was trying to dig out the Martin soil for examination. Option B. It was trying to touch someone. Option C. It was trying to pick out something. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is option A. Question number 2. Chillo pressed the red button and the damage was done. What was the damage? Option A. Chillo was the center of attraction. Option B. The mechanical hand from the spacecraft ceased to work. Option C. They found the spacecraft working. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, you are awesome. The answer is option B. Question number 3. Where had the spacecraft came from? Option A. From Mars. Option B from Earth. Option C from somewhere. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is option B. Question number 4. Which planet do Tillu and his parents live? Option A Earth. Option B Mars. Option C Sun. Which one is the correct answer? Yes, you are absolutely right. The answer is option A. Children, you did very well and you understood the comprehension 3 very well. Now, we will check our total understanding of lesson through the following exercise. Exercise. Discuss the following topics in groups. Topic 1. If you had to live in a home like Telos, what parts of life would you find most difficult? What compensations might there be? Topic number 2. What if anything might drive mankind to make their homes underground? Topic number 3. Do you think there is life on other planets? Can you guess what kind of people there may be on them? In what ways are 
the likely to be different from us. Summary of the story. Tillu Ang boy is often told not to go to the forbidden passages in the solar system. His father, who works along the underground passes, is one of the select few permitted to do so. Tillu's father, a member of the select few, is one of the few who can change to go there every day for work. However, he is caught by invisible mechanical devices that have detected and photographed the intruder. Chillu is escorted back home to his mother, who is anxious and angry. Chillu's father explains that he works on a surface where an ordinary person cannot survive due to the thin air and low temperature. He is well equipped with a special suit with a reservoir of oxygen and specially designed boots to make it easier of him to walk on the surface. He has been trying to survive and work on the surface and his ancestors lived on the surface for millions of years. However, times changed and the sun turned hostile, causing the balance of nature on the planet to change. The solar system was once known to have no life elsewhere except on the planet. Tillo's father recalled the ancient days when their ancestors had a well-developed space program and had searched the solar system with manned and unmanned spacecraft. They had no space program and they could only watch importantly from their vantage point. The central bureau is filled with excitement as the president makes a momentous announcement. The president and his team discuss two spacecraft approaching the planet, one orbiting the planet and the other being far away, the president in charge of defense advises the president to keep their surface activities to a minimum, creating the impression that there is no life on the planet. The president's personal telephone rings and he announces that the first spacecraft has landed. This is a red little day for Chillu, as his father has taken him to the control room. Poet Jain Narlika, born 10th July 1938, Kolhapu, Kolhapu State, British India, now Maharashtra in India. He is an Indian astrophysicist and emeritus professor at the Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics. He developed with Sir Fred Hole the conformal gravity theory, known as Hole Narlikal theory. Martin probes may have killed microbes. Two NASA space probes that visited Mars 30 years ago may have stumbled upon alien microbes on the red planet and inadvertently kill them. A scientist has theorized in a paper. The problem was the Viking space probes of 1976-77 were looking for the wrong kind of life and did not recognize it. The researchers said in paper presented at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Saturday on Sunday. This news report based on a more expansive view of where life can take root. May have NASA looking for a different type of Martin life from when its next Mars spacecraft is launched later this year. One of the space agency's top scientists told reporters. Last month, scientists excitedly reported that new photographs of Mars showed geological changes that suggest water occasionally flows there. The most tantalizing sign that Mars is hospitable to life. From a recent newspaper report. I am grateful to SEIT Andhra Pradesh, Ipar Shala and the Education Department of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity to teach the children of the state to this e-content production. Thank you one and all. Space time in an expanding universe changes over time. So the full quantum description of you need to know. In the type of universe is different in the past and the future. Neutrinos would behave in the both expanding and unchanging steady state universes. Famous quote by Jain Narlika. Thank you for watching.